Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a newborn must-haves video. And I only have a few things on this list because these are just must-haves that my daughter used and I'm not going over essentials like clothing, diapers, wipes, that, that kind of thing. These are just variable things that you don't need but that my daughter really clung to and what was really useful as a first time mom and as a new mom and I hope that they can help one of you out. The first must have I have is a Wubbanub. I gave this to my daughter in the hospital. I was super against giving her a passy but nothing else would soothe her. Um, and we tried uh, different pacifiers after we gave her this one and she just wanted this one. Even as a newborn, um, she specifically wanted this Wubbanub, but now that she's almost six months old, she'll take any Wubbanub. She, to this day, still doesn't like the other kind of passies or even these passies without the animal connected. So she definitely is a fan of the Wubbanubs. The next thing I have is a bath sponge. Um, again, she used this from the very beginning when I brought her home. I would put this on the kitchen counter and she would lay on it and I would give her a sponge bath that way and then when she was able to be submerged I would put it in the bathtub and she would lay on it and it's very cushiony and um, she used this up until about a week ago or so um, and the only reason she's not using it anymore is because it's very beat up because we've used it for almost six months. And we were going to get her another one, but she's sitting up now. She's going to be crawling soon. And we were like, there's no point in getting another one. But this little gem, very inexpensive and lasted us almost a full six months. The next thing I have is a Velcro swaddle. These are the Swaddle Me brand, I think. The tag is really worn off because we've washed them so many times. I only bought a two pack of them because I didn't know if she'd like them and then I just never got any more and so we were washing these like every other day and she would only use these at night um, but I like these because they would stay velcroed whereas the, if I swaddled her with a muslin blanket she would wiggle out of it so these were definitely a lifesaver. The next thing even though I like to velcro swaddle her at night I still love the muslin blankets. There are so many uses for them and um, with her being born in July I didn't want too heavy of a blanket to swaddle her in or um, just to cover her up with if we were just laying there um, or to put over her in the car seat and so this was perfect. It's very thin, very soft. I don't have a specific brand that I like more than others. This one is the Swaddle Design brand, but I also have a ton of Aiden and Anai ones. I think I even have some Carter's brand ones. And so I just love them all around. Um, they are great burp cloths. They are great um, to put down if you have to change your baby in public. Um, they are great to put over the car seat if it's raining or very windy um, or if you just want to kind of pre prevent any of those germs getting close to the baby. Um, they are a great nursing cover. Instead of getting a nursing cover, I found that I like this better. So you just tie it in a knot and put it around you like that and it's perfect. Um, and then of course I would also swaddle her during the day with it um, and it's just perfect. We haven't been using them lately, but that's because it's been colder and so she's been using heavier blankets, but I have a feeling when it's warmer outside, we'll go back to using these a lot. The next thing I have is this co-sleeper. It unfolds like this and there's a cushiony pad in it, but it's not too cushiony. Um, and I have just put this muslin blanket over it so it's a little um, snugglier. <clears throat> and I was not gonna co-sleep. Not gonna do it. But as a breastfeeding mom, or just even when you have to get up in the middle of the night to feed your baby, I did not trust myself being half asleep, picking up my baby and moving the baby, like from like over the floor, across the room to the bed. I just didn't trust myself. And so I found this at TJ Maxx, and it was like 15 or 17 bucks. I don't remember. I'll try to find all of this and link it in the description box below. 
Um, but I didn't want to, I couldn't justify buying a DACA top because I knew I wasn't going to co-sleep for that long. Um, I think she only slept in this for about a month, maybe a month and a half. So that $15 to $17 was definitely worth that. And even when I did switch her to her pack and play in our room, I would put this in the pack and play so she felt a little more um, snuggled instead of just like in a big open space. So this was definitely worth the money to me and this has just been in the top of my closet because it can fold up so small and so even when we make our bed I would just fold it up and put it in the top of my closet and you couldn't even tell it was there. The next baby must have I have is obviously a car seat but more specifically an infant carrier. We went back and forth between getting an adjustable car seat and an infant carrier and we went with the infant carrier, which I'm so happy we did. It's so much easier to tote the baby around in this instead of having to take them out of the car seat and into a baby wrap or into the stroller, especially when they're that little. So I'm so happy we went with this. We just recently switched her over to a adjustable an adjustable car seat, and I still miss this sometimes. And so Definitely, I would recommend keeping your baby in this as long as possible. As long as you can still carry it around, definitely do it. Um, ours clicks into our stroller, and it was just all around great. I do have some friends that have multiple kids, and for them, it was easier to have the adjustable car seat because it was hard to carry this around and wrangle two or three kids, whereas if they had the baby attached to them, they could hold both kids' hands. So... It just depends on your family size, your lifestyle, but for us, I am so happy we went with the infant carrier. The other um, newborn must-have I don't have right now, um, because it's in my daughter's room and she's sleeping, which is why I'm filming this so late, is a white noise machine. I knew I wanted one, but wasn't that um, quick to get one, but I actually had a friend gift me one for my baby shower, and I didn't break it out right away. I didn't even get it out until one night um, my baby was not sleeping she would not fall asleep nothing would soothe her and so I plugged it in turned it on I was like you know what might as well give it a try and she was out almost instantly and to this day she still sleeps with it on every time she naps when she goes down for the night and it has been a true lifesaver I will link the one we have down below, but honestly, any white noise machine. I even have a white noise app on my phone, and that worked when we went out of town. So really, any kind of white noise. The next thing is a video camera monitor. I did not want one. Didn't want one. I um, am really weird about paranormal stuff, and if there is any, I don't want to see it. Like, I did not want one. But again, this was gifted to me at a baby shower, and so... I was like, I might as well use it. It was a gift. It um, is better than what we have. We really, I don't think we had a monitor at that point. And so now that I've used it, I can't imagine life without it. I love that I can see her and see, like I can actually see her chest going up and down that she's breathing. And if for some reason the video is not working, I immediately run in there and she's fine. But I love that I have this visual on her. And this was one of the more inexpensive video camera monitors. <clears throat> and it's also, we can unplug it and take it from room to room with us. Um, and so she's actually sleeping right now. And I really like this. Um, another thing I don't have with me right now is a bouncy seat. Um, she loved that. She still sits in it sometimes, but now that she can move, she doesn't really want to be strapped down. And so she used that for a good... I want to say four to five months she was in it daily. Um, as far as an infant swing goes, she only used hers for maybe two and a half months, three months. Um, it just wasn't her thing after she was out of that newborn phase. And so we only spent about $65 on our swing. It was the Graco swing and it was on sale. And so I'm really happy we didn't spend a ton of money on it because she didn't use it for that long. So these are my newborn must-haves. And I will have everything linked below. And if you have any questions about anything, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.